Has anyone ever seen the film Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> Good evening, Free Gang. We are coming to you live, but not live, from the evening, as I just said, in our bedroom. We haven't started here before, have we? No, I don't think we have. Oh, we, when we did our bre um, what we eat in a day, breakfast in bed, we did. Oh, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we don't normally film this late either, do we? Yeah, so it's quite late in the evening, and luckily Jojo is settled down with a nice film. He might come in at some point, but he seems quite settled at the moment. We've had a very busy day. He's had a very busy day, hasn't he? Yeah, we've worked on a really cool video with him today. Which so. we'll see coming soon. Yes, we're really excited today because we are preparing for a really cool trip. And we are leaving tomorrow morning really early like five in the morning or something uh earlier yeah. four three half three yeah yeah so we're leaving at half three in the morning um because we're going we're going to the airport we're going to jump on a plane and fly to another country because we have been very kindly invited by some of our friends to go to another country we're not going to tell you where yet should we do a nice airport reveal video tomorrow as long as it's a nice one i mean yeah it's, of course it's a nice one <laughs> Uh oh, Jojo's not, doesn't sound as settled as he was a minute ago. So this evening's video, <laughs> we thought we would share with you us packing. And the reason for that is because we've all gone on a bit of a journey when it comes to packing. We have learned our lessons, pretty harsh lessons as well. I guess it started about four years ago when we went to Hawaii. And we went there and we met some other parents who had a kid similar age to Jojo. And we like got two kids they had. Oh yeah, of course, two kids. We got chatting with them and just general conversation pops up of, oh, how many suitcases did you bring? We brought four. And four then, big ones. Yeah, for, for two adults, one then three-year-old for 10 days in Hawaii. And they replied with, what do you mean? Everything we own is in our car. At which point we were like, excuse me? So it sounded like you said, everything you own is in your car. And they was like, that's right. So yeah, that was when we met our friends who we recently went to spend time with in Miami. Yeah, so we found that so inspirational. They do all their work online and they just travel around. Yeah, and they live nomadic. Yeah, and they just literally have everything they own in their car and they just seem so free and confident and happy. And yes, yeah, so we were just so inspired. Suitcase goals. And we've been joined by a not so settled down Jojo. <laughs> You're gonna help us pack in a minute. Yes. After packing though, it's your bedtime. Oh. It's eight o'clock and Jojo normally goes to bed about nine, don't you? Yeah. He does, does not sleep a lot, never has done this child. My energy boy. So as we were saying, ever since we met those guys, we've tried really hard to minimize the amount of things that we take away with us. Yeah, we've learned quite a few tips along the way and Jojo's gone again. He's now gone in the bedroom with Sam to play with Sam for a bit. That was short lived. So as I was saying, since then, I've watched a lot of videos of people that travel really light and um, pack all their stuff into hand luggage. Mm. And I've been really inspired by that as well. So I thought I'd like pay it forward a bit. And you know, when you're inspired by people, it's really nice to then try and inspire others. So what we're trying to do therefore is try and inspire other people by showing how minimal you can live and how little you actually need to take when going away. Because for those of you that watch all our videos you know that we do travel a lot whether it's around england or even abroad you know having a system in place for when you go away can be so handy to know the minimum that you need to take and then just duplicate that every time and maybe even lessen it more and more each time mm -hmm. we're always lessening aren't we yeah so there's some other reasons we do this as well and why you might want to do this first reason is the obvious one which is a lot cheaper some of these like budget airlines and even the bigger ones now they they, they charge you extra to bring luggage on yeah, yeah that's a no-brainer the second one it's easier getting to the airport it's easier at the airport less it's, time packing less time packing it's easier to gather all your stuff up again when you're leaving holiday to come back home again the third one is it just gives you a sense of freedom like we just feel so much freer when we're traveling and just I only have a, a couple of suitcases not only is it literally holding you down the weight of it but figuratively too as well you feel like you're more free that you don't have all of this stuff which in a way owns you yeah it's baggage it's just weighing you down yeah. it's just too much so literal much. and figurative baggage so basically i'll show you what we have is we have one of these each these are really light and they i think for hand luggage you can normally have about 10 kilograms in there 10 kilos yeah yeah so we try and stick to the 10 kilograms in each one we've got this it luggage which is really light i think it weighs about 1.5 kilograms 
superb one. So these are some of the lightest luggage you can get. And Jojo has one as well. Where's Jojo's one? Not as lightweight, a bit yeah. less cubic volume. This is like an old one that we've had for quite a few years, isn't it? Yeah. But it's small and it's just good for him. And, he and, used... it's a, and the handle's a good length as well. It's probably too low for us to handle, yeah, it? but it's us. perfect for him. He used to have a trunky. You know those trunkies and you pull the kids along on them. Whee! Yeah, we've had, well, he, had, he had some good times on that. But yeah. I think he's a bit big for it now and it's not as practical. So yeah, so he has that one. We also have our carry on luggage yeah. wheels because you're allowed one of these and you're allowed a small backpack as well or a small like hand held thing so you can put your laptops and things like that and this is my one and you've got your one I got I don't, a yeah, yeah i don't think jojo has one but he's no. he'll be fine with his thing i'm really torn because i really love the look of this bag i got it when we we're in florida but i've got a, a bigger one that's a bit more practical so yeah. i'm a bit torn which one to bring but yeah so we'll, what we're going to do now is we're going to get all our stuff and lay it out on the bed this is what we do when we pack we get everything we go through our lists make sure we've got everything like chargers adapters things like that toothbrushes and then we'll try and get everything into the suitcases and it's like we must have over a hundred things yeah you're right when you think about all of the smaller things and that as well yeah all my makeup things like that yeah individual items it's, like it's that still, yeah it's still a good over over a hundred thing items crazy when you think about it isn't it yeah and we're saying we're minimal yeah so well before it would be like 400 things it's actually starting to sound like some sort of challenge mommy it is like can we get a hundred or so items in hand luggage. It or, is. This is this is gonna turn into a challenge video. I can't be, I'm not ready for a challenge video. I'm not prepared. I need to gear myself up. <laughs> no, too late. This is the packing 100 items into suitcases challenge. But you doing all these words. Mm. <laughs> right. Let's do this. Come Coming on. in. Harry, absolutely essential. One hundred percent essential. They put all this stuff here, all these clothes and things. <laughs> Nowhere for me to sit. Right, these are all our essentials. Essentials like a SpongeBob yeah. book. Some essential, some not so essential. But I do like writing. Those of you who watch all our videos know that I really love pens. I love paper. Yeah, it is handy, isn't it? I like to always bring something like this with us and. Harry Potter book, of course, this is actually essential because Jojo's got to do his reading. He loves reading and, you know, we do his schooling wherever we go, so that's part of it. Reading is part of it. Comment below for it, gang. Are any of you guys Harry Potter fans or Potterheads? And if so, have you read all of the books or are you reading somewhere along the way? Let us know what book you're on or what's your favourite book if you've read them all. Or if you're like me and haven't watched any of the books and just watched the films. You haven't watched any of the books? You're watching one of the books now. <laughs> you mean read the books? Yeah, I yeah. haven't read any of the books, but I've watched most of the films. Once they've read this book, I'll watch the film. We're about halfway through the Half-Blood Prince. It's getting pretty exciting. Jojo's getting very excited each. Right, so this is a bit of a tip for you guys. If you're ever going anywhere, like on a plane. Yeah, not just down to the shops. Yeah, always have a morning list. So what I do is, obviously there's things you can't pack into your main things and there's things you might need in the morning or the night before, like toothbrush, things like that, you know, things that you pack last minute. And there's also the things I put on this list that we must not forget, like double passports. check. Yeah. yeah, double checking things. So I've got headphones, masks, sunglasses. I really can't forget my sunglasses. Mask? Eye mask. Eye mask for the plane. Why? I was like, why are you going to cover my mask? No! <laughs> that would be hilarious. Please yeah. do that. Toothbrush, obviously, because sometimes we forget toothbrushes because we use them in the morning and then forget to bring them. Yeah, don't forget Jojo. We must not write down Jojo. Yeah, I mustn't forget yeah, Jojo. Really. Jojo, there you go. You're on the morning list, Jojo. Yeah, we're going to definitely take you tomorrow when we go away. Okay. You want to go in the suitcase? That would be so cool to go in a suitcase, wouldn't it? No, you're a bit too big now. I think you've passed suitcase size. Imagine, a yeah. hundred year old is in a suitcase okay yeah so that's a, that's that's a top tip yeah very very handy yeah oh another top tip i wanted to let you guys know is these bags take some of these bags at the airport i know no one likes plastic these days everyone knows that it's plastic is annoying but you're playing by their rules in the yeah airport. you have to have these at airports 
so just to put all your liquids in yeah put them in before you go and then that way you've just got when you go through security you've just got to put it in the tray and then you don't have to because i see so many people sorting all their liquids out and having to put them in these bags but if they're already in the bags then that's cool so yeah that's the top tip oh by the way little update the stuff that we left in miami in england all the Katie's makeup at and our toiletries. At Gatwick Airport. Yeah. It got returned. Hey. And some of it got returned in the clear bags, which was handy because then we didn't have to pack it again in the clear bags. Yeah. Win for team freedom. Yeah, so you're probably wondering what this contraption is here. And you're probably thinking, is that really essential? But to be honest, this is the most essential thing that we have. So this is our water distiller and we take this everywhere we go in the world. Yes. Because sometimes you go to places where the water isn't as clean you can't drink the tap water or you don't know what it's yeah, like yeah you don't know but this takes everything out of the water it completely cleans the water the good thing is we put a plastic bag inside and and we, we put our things inside there so we don't waste any space we, yeah so that's the really cool thing that we do and normally we stick things in there which doesn't matter if they get creased mostly swimwear or socks yeah underwear. socks things like that that we put in there so yeah this is always the first thing that goes into our suitcase and we have to pack around it really but th what we'll do then we'll designate whatever goes in that uh, suitcase with this the non-essential stuff that we won't need to touch the whole time we're flying so we won't need to grab anything or while we're on the plane to keep us comfortable entertainment and yeah because like that. that would be really annoying if you go into the overhead compartment to get some stuff and then you've got this distiller smacking you in the face yeah and then it falls out and like falls on someone's head and then you get <laughs> what like, like literally like that yeah and then you get thrown off the plane you've been watching too many films and weird comedy films by the sounds of it well i'm sure this stuff does happen in real life maybe in the film airplane that was a spoof on the plane, so there you go. Has anyone ever seen the film Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> what are you doing? I just think that film is just so have you random. Seen? I think so, yeah. Or do you have you just heard the hype around it and the jokes around it and a trailer? Come on, snakes on a plane. <laughs> What's it about? Is it a metaphor? What's the what's next? Spider in a tree. <laughs> Giraffes in a hatchback. <laughs> oh. What? What about this? Drakes, as in the ducks, on a train. Drakes on a train. No, it doesn't work. Why drakes on a train? Why snakes on a plane? Why any of this oh, stuff? Oh, because it rhymes. Drakes on a... <laughs> Yeah, they're all completely irrelevant. Oh dear. I just hope there's no snakes on the plane tomorrow. Me too. Right, okay, should we get uh... Get this into the suitcase now? Yeah, let's start the challenge. Oh, oh look, it's a snake! So another way that we're minimising things is being really minimal on what we take for JoJo's learning. Before we used to take a big tub everywhere, but what we're just saying now is like, essential items for each of his learning. So we agree what he's doing for the next week or the time we're away. In this case, you know, for his handwriting, we've got one of these exercise books and we've looked through it and looked at the different activities he can do. And there's lots of other things for his learning which we can either do when we're away without having to take much or, you know, just learning on the go with the laptop or something. He's pulling faces behind your back. Yeah, he's, he's, he's learning how to do that right now. Also, our calendar and our planning sheets come everywhere with us as well. Right, that's us, more or less packed. Pretty much, yeah. Apart yeah. from the last minute morning things. Yeah, last minute we've got our morning list over there. Yeah, and I really like the fact that while we were doing this, we even got rid of some things, you know, that we, yeah. we didn't need. Uh, yeah, this is another uh, top tip, guys, is we used to take an outfit for every single day that we'd be away. Pretty much. But now we just take like three outfits. Two or three, yeah. Yeah, two or three outfits, and we just make sure we wash them we go to somewhere with a washing machine or we utilize the washing facilities wherever we are yeah when we're away that's why you tend to see us in similar outfits yeah <laughs> but saying that i bought about five outfits i think but yeah. the, the outfits that i bring are like, variety. like small like i bring these dresses yeah stuff like this yeah i don't normally wear colors like this in the uk much but i feel like when you're away on holiday anything goes really doesn't it it's holiday wear yeah, holiday wear. 
but look the beauty is that this dress is a whole outfit and it can roll up to that big another one i have a blue one i love this dress i've had it for years whole outfit yeah so another outfit rolled up that big it's all about rolling your clothes up trying to get them in every inch of space in your suitcase yeah like all the stuff around this distilla i just rolled up loads and just tucked it all around Got loads in there around all of this space oh another top tip past my shoes flat shoes these shoes are the only shoes i will be taking with me and they're the only shoes i actually took to miami with me they actually look like slippers but they're barefoot shoes and we actually do them at ethics but unfortunately they just sell out every single time we do first them. week in november they'll be back yeah first week in november so if you do want these shoes you have to get in there quick because they just gone in a they're day so comfy wear yeah. slippers outdoors yeah they're just so comfy and they're nice for warm weather and i've worn them in cold weather as well and they're just oh my goodness so that is the only pair of shoes that i am taking <laughs> and they kind of go with everything well they just fit flat as well they're just they're, they're perfect in so many ways aren't they yeah that's right they're, they are minimalist shoes yes and in fact why am i packing them i'm gonna need to wear them in the morning yeah. the only shoes you're gonna wear you're not gonna wear them. yeah so i'm really pleased with this packing we did really well Jojo's got, I think, two outfits, is it? Yeah, two outfits and swim outfit. Yeah, swimming, make sure we get our swimming. And I've only bought two bikini tops. Normally, I buy, bring loads of bikinis, but no, two. Yeah, it's just really annoying because, you know, with your bikini tops, the underwire comes out on them. It just pokes, doesn't it? Yeah, and then it tries to poke me in the chest. It's really annoying. So I'm going to, I've bought my, I've got like a travel sewing kit, which I'm going to sort those out when we get there. But yeah, like we could even get more in these. But this is Jojo's one and... We've still got lots of space. Yeah, that's it. Like, there's three things in there. I think we've done well. Hopefully we've got everything. You always forget something though, don't you? Comment below, well, like, what do you always forget? Sometimes it's always something like, last time I didn't take any hair stuff. Yeah, you didn't take We thought we'd left it at the airport pool. I didn't even bring it with me, did I? No, you have you got it this time though? Yes. Because Bob's hair, when it hasn't got hair gel in it, it just like... It's got mine of its own. It goes wavy. And, well, it's wavy and curly anyway. It but. literally looks like he's got a mud pie on the top of his head. <laughs> right, shall we go and get Jojo ready for bed? Yes. Because we've got an early start in the morning, so... Yes, and I've got to drive to the airport. But we're pretty much all done. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching and seeing about what we pack and how we pack and all of our different tips. Leave us your comments below if you have any tips yourself of little hacks for packing or certain things you do to go away or to minimise what you're doing when you go away. Yeah, we need we need tips as well. Like, we're always trying to improve. Yeah, we're always trying to improve and we know we don't do things like perfectly. Like I've seen people do things a lot better than we do. Mm. But yeah, so we need we need more we need extra help. So if you've got any tips put them in the comments below. But before we end this video, just gonna give a quick shout out to one of you lovely free gang who has requested them. Today's shout out that we picked at random goes to Poppy Dalton who says, love you so much, please go and have a shout out. I love your channel so much. I, uh, I hope you have another baby. Jojo would be a great big brother. I agree oh. with that. Yeah, so do we. Thanks so much. That's really kind of you, Poppy. And if any of you guys want a shout out, leave it in the comments below and we'll pick one at random and try and get it done in the next upcoming video. And if any of you guys are new to this channel, you like seeing how we pack, how we try and minimise our packing and maybe even pack the shoes that we actually plan to wear the next day, then we'd love it if you subscribed. But also hit that notification bell so you get up to date on when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video at the airport for a grand reveal. See you then. Peace out. Thanks for Peace watching. Peace out. Bye.